My name is Leofo Dilemet Isopopolo. I am a visual artist. I've been doing this for about 10 years, you know, started from Tapo, helped play the part in building Young Africa Botswana. And right now I'm here at Butu University to tell you more about what we do here. Um, the art I make is a lot of abstract art, but I like going into the culture of my country in Botswana. My name is Kim Lesedi. I'm a visual artist. Um, and also I'm an art historian from China Academy of Art. Um, I specialize in uh, many art aspects. As an art historian, um, I do visual arts, more especially sculpture. I do a um, bit of performance arts and I also do, um, like I say, visual arts, as in like fine arts. So I specialize a lot in uh, oil on canvas and I also do acrylics, watercolor. And professionally, I also do art lessons. I teach, I'm an art teacher. The way we built this design was actually through one interaction with my business partner, Lesedi, and also with the management team of Boto. And we created an actual sample design that eventually, as we interacted with even the students, the lecturers, we ended up deciding to, you know, kind of create a fluid freestyle form that encapsulates all what Butu is about and also the experiences of the students and the lecturers. We looked at the curriculum for the school and um, there are aspirations for the future and we decided to be creative on that level and we wanted to include vibrancy but more especially looking at uh, the future, like I say, we, we, we focus a bit more on um, um, on green tech and uh, culture, but you know how to harmoniously merge this to the background of Botswana or Botswana at the same time, not just Botswana actually, but Africa at the same time, bring the advantage or the possibilities that we can can be achieved through creative means through us. If I have to say, my favorite part would definitely be in the front where there's the spirit of Boto because that was actually the theme of what we were building everything around that we wanted to put a physical imprint of the spirit of Boto and its intentions. Disabled are not necessarily stuck in one place. They have a chance to be out there, you know, in the open. They have a chance to be there and explore the environment, explore the wildlife more than ever to be included. So henceforth, um, I in the creative aspect of it, I wanted to give you that platform like an open um, landscape, and but at the same time, um, giving that message of um, um, you know love and harmony. You know, it's a fact that everybody um, were unique. Everybody has different needs and, and specifications. And one thing we do know, we did notice in Boto that there are people with slight disabilities, so we wanted to incorporate them because we believe as artists that. Um, as you can see the word synergy, synergy means working together, so we wanted to include them so that they know that you know they are part of something, they also can contribute, a disability doesn't mean that you cannot contribute to society. The most exciting part about this project was the second phase after we had finished the front part and we came to this point um, in which we had to talk more about now technology and uh, other important um, 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 features. So henceforth we are talking about um, battery tech, we are talking about electric cars, we are talking about um, uh, bullet trains or like I say the Magdalene train or, or and other, other fields. So we had to come up with concept, with ideas like you know we had to have the bullet train which is something that is coming for Africa or for Botswana as we have issues of uh, trans Kalahari and uh, we thought why not Boto could be one of the pioneers in terms of engineering towards this so let's give a better visual representation. The world record holder Tebo Holizzi, henceforth the bullet train, this is a sign of ingenuity and perfection that we wanted to emphasize and culture at the same time as you can see the baskets. Um, so we believe that um, excellence and, and all hard work and uh, focus can indeed um, um, pay up big time. So 
the possibility of trans Kalahari, the possibility of going to the uh, uh, not just to the moon but going in space, uh, having our first satellite as a country, and all that. So the university gave us that platform that we can share these ideas, these creative ideas, and um, hope for the better. So this is the first of its kind, and we wanted to really give it uh, the best that we can. My most exciting time was actually working with the lecturers, you know, the management and the students um, because, like I was saying, we wanted to build something that everyone could be a part of. So that interaction played a lot of how even the design kept evolving. So as an artist, one thing I believe is culture, art, it evolves with people. The more you communicate and interact with one another, the more how can I say, we joined together. So for me, that was like the best experience, having to be there. The, the feedback has really been great. Um, the students loved it, because we have worked with them here. Um, they were really inspired. They didn't know before, especially some of them have never done art in their life. And when we were working with them, showing them how to mix colors, and they were quite excited. And more than ever, they loved the fact that we, we help some of them, they see formulas and stuff like that which they need to work with. So it was quite interesting. The lectures also, surprisingly, they were so, like, they, they, they loved it because we, this kind of stuff we have put here is exactly what they're doing and it's quite informative and it's, it's now on a visual platform. First, I'd like to start with, with management and, you know, what can I say, the adults of the school. Those, they, they really enjoyed the painting experience. They really enjoyed how, you know, we really incorporated a lot of even their own personas in certain designs. So I feel from even the engineering block, the lecturers themselves, they really love what happened because they can see the effect that the creativity will have. And then in terms of students, Students also had a really great time. Like, like I was saying, when we were painting with them, a lot of students were telling me about how, you know, they never imagined they'll do anything that involved creativity. And they actually were seeing different things, like opening their minds. They were um, expressing themselves. And one thing I always encourage for school is, if you want people who can really play a big part in society, we need to help them build their confidence. So this project in itself, that's one of the things, like from in terms of students, I got back that a lot of them, they got a new type of confidence towards themselves and maybe what they do in life. Whenever a nation realizes the importance of art and creativity, is bound for excellence. Um, often we say all roads lead to Rome or Rome was not built in a day, but if you look at it, Rome was built using through creativity and artistic means. And most of the art history that we know, it is all basically influenced majority of the time through the Renaissance and that time of um, the Roman evolution and stuff. So such artists such as Da Vinci and stuff, they've inspired such things as helicopters, uh, ideas of, of anatomy, medicine, but it was also mostly through creative means. So through this platform, we are really trying to give that idea. Henceforth, you can see we have the metro, Kaburoni metro, which we don't have yet, but some kind of a visual stimulant like this. Somebody sees, he can hope for the future. He can, you know, have an idea, you know, and see the possibility of it, you know. So basically, we, 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 are, hope, we are hoping that this will help the student, this will help the school as a visual aid. Creating content that can be in the community that people can see, um, what is called public art, murals. It's something that uh, me and my friend Lissedi are constantly talking about, that the more murals that we put, the more we can actually show the importance of the creative industry in society. And I feel to get people into creative careers, most people are already in creative careers. They're, they're, most of them, everything they do is already some sort of creative discipline is now being employed. We would like to thank uh, both the university first of all and um, 
if there should be anybody who wants such kind of work, they should consult first with Boto University because of copyright issues and other things. This was specifically made for Boto, but they could also let the Boto University know if they want get, to get hold of us. But also we are, also like my brother said, we, are, we have a group called Salemela Creatives. And um, individually, we have our numbers separately. You can contact us, but you can also look for us, Salemela Creatives on Facebook. I myself, my name is Kin Lisedi. Um, you can find me on Facebook, Kin Lisedi. Um, and uh, my mobile is 7456019. Um, we are, like I say, we are real creatives. We don't just focus on uh, one thing. We do multi-verse realities and artistic means. So anytime you want to get hold of us, please look for us um, on the net.